Hello friends, it's Robert Stillick with Blue Planet Surf. Today's video is all about bands for the Apple Watch and which one I like best for water sports. I get on the water almost every day, so I wanted to share with you a little bit about bands for the Apple Watch. Yesterday I got a comment from a viewer on YouTube. Bodan says, thank you for the great video. By the way, can you please tell me what Apple Watch band are you using? So this is the Apple Watch band I'm using and I'm gonna have the link down below. If you just wanna buy that band, um, you can just go down below to that link. But I just wanted to give you a little bit more information because I've, um, I've tried a lot of different bands and I just wanted to kind of give you the rundown of what I like about this one. It's definitely not perfect, but it has some cool features. It doesn't cost much at all and um, compared to some other bands. So the first Apple Watch I got was a few years ago and after a few months of using it, I lost it at the Apple Sport Band, which has like one single spot of attachment. And uh, I was surfing in the water. I fell and it kind of got caught on the rail or something. It's popped off and it was gone. So that was my first Apple Watch. And then just recently, about a year ago, I bought another one. And uh, this one has like the cell phone service. So I like that for safety. You know, if something happens, I just can keep pushing down this button on the side until it dials 911. So it's a cell phone and I don't have to carry a cell phone in a waterproof bag and so on. So I really like that. I wish the Apple Watch also had a camera so it could shoot video. That would be awesome. Then I probably wouldn't even need a cell phone anymore for a lot of things. Uh, it would be great on the water to have a waterproof watch with a camera in it. But this one doesn't obviously. One cool feature though is that it's very easy to swap out these bands. Um, just uh, you push the little button and you pull out the band. And this is a leather band I got, which is nice. But um, obviously leather, it looks nice. It's cool for like going out or something like that. But the downside of the leather band is that if you get it wet, it takes forever to dry. And then it starts getting smelly and stuff like that. So leather for me is really not, not ideal if I Put that on it's maybe for a special occasion or something like that so i bought these um, silicone bands on amazon and they were pretty cheap it was three of them um, and they're just kind of like a regular watch band uh, i'll put the link to those down below too but this these ones i can't recommend because these things that hold the band in place they ripped after just a few uses it came in three colors and um the blue one and the gray one, I ripped these two, um, you know, these two rings that hold hold it in place. And then after that, this just the band, the end of the band just sticks out, you know. So I didn't like these ones. I had to um, get something else. So I ended up with this one. It's a fabric. And um, I've been using this for at least a few months. And I have to say, I haven't really had too many issues with it at all. It's, uh, it ho holds up well, kind of more or less matches my blue color watch. And it actually came with two different bands. And um, you know, I've had this for months and I haven't even used this gray one yet. So this is still brand new. Uh, this is what it looks like. And yeah, so what I like about it is it definitely dries quickly. It has these two metal loops for the band that keep your, your, the ba uh, band in place. If it does slide out, it's pretty easy to put it back under. I was a little bit concerned that the fabric would wear out and the holes would kind of get, um, I was worried that the holes would kind of get chewed out, but um, it, you know, they freed a little bit, but not bad at all. I mean, I've been using, like I said, many months and I have no concerns about this one coming off. You know, if I put it on tight, it's on there good. It's not gonna come off. Um, and I just slide the band underneath these two metal hooks so it's kind of well secured when it's on the wrist. So one downside I would say this little metal buckle here ha does have a little bit of a sharp end so if you have any kind of clothing like a tight lycra rash guard that has a seam right there um, can get caught on it and kind of get frayed and stuff like that. I had that happen to one of my rash guards. So that's the only thing I would say is maybe a little bit of a con on this one. Otherwise, it's easy to adjust, very secure, dries quickly. So it kind of checks all the boxes for me and it's inexpensive. So if you want to buy this set, um, you can use the link down below 
it's like a affiliate link so I get a, a few pennies per sale but um, that's not why I'm doing it um, I think this is a great watch band for anybody that needs a watch band for water sports okay so Bowden thanks for the question this is the watch band I'm using and that I recommend it comes with two mat two bands it's inexpensive works well dries quickly okay thanks for watching everyone I hope you enjoyed it if it was helpful please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the Blue Science YouTube channel and we'll see you on the water. Aloha and ahuiho.